it's a site of tragedy, right? And there's, there's widespread destruction. And at the same time, there's a level of randomness that comes with wildfires when they hit the urban interface where people live. So there are properties that are unharmed and in close proximity to properties that are destroyed. Um, it's, it's terrible to see. There's, uh, you know, this is, these are people's homes. This is a community. Um, and it's, it's really confusing. Uh, to myself as a lay person and, and a resident of the regional municipality and to see how this community was impacted by this fire. I cannot speculate on when this fire will be under control. I would encourage all of us to be ready for a long firefight. We've got a lot of dry weather days ahead. We've got low humidities forecasted. Uh, this is going to be a prolonged operation. I have to go spend another two hundred dollars to stay in a motel. Mm. So there it goes the premium's $500 out the window. Well, right now, I think we're very blessed. Uh, the, uh, my wife and my daughter and myself are safe and sound in a hotel. So everything that's important to us is uh, in good shape. Uh, the rest of the stuff, well, you know, it's physical possessions. And uh, it's, we're not gonna get upset. It's either there when we come back or it's missing and we make a claim, so. We're very grateful for what we have. And even if you find out for sure this minute that your house is okay, that can change in the blink of an eye. The, it just takes the wind to change direction a couple of degrees and what was green becomes black. It, it's inconvenient, but at the end of the day, we have our kids and we have our lives and it, I would rather not go back for a week or two or even longer if need be than uh, have to evacuate again and pack the kids up in the middle of the night. So I'd rather play it safe than sorry. We are not keeping folks at bay because it's what we want to do. This is to keep people alive. This is a very dangerous situation. It's changing every moment with wind, with fuels, with the lay of the land, how the sun is heating the fuels. Everything is constantly evolving. So we have to take the safest route for the citizens that we are here to serve.